Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. I am sick today, and I've had all kind of bad luck today. I almost slapped a bitch to heaven today at the airport. So stay tuned so I can tell you about how I was about to beat this lady up with my panty line. Hey, it's White Boy Chris. If the Pat Down's ever made you laugh, then join our Patreon and support us. Get bonus content, a t-shirt, or an autographed copy of Rabbit, Miss Pat's autobiography. Visit misspatcomedy.com for the link to the Patreon, and while you're there, join our Facebook group. When we come back here next year, it'll be all purple, silver, white, and black. Have you already decided what next year will be? Yeah, I already <laughs> decided what I'm doing next year. I'm not saying it, but the colors are purple, black, Civil and white. Well, why wouldn't you just reuse all this stuff? What are you going to do with all this stuff? It's poor people shit. <laughs> oh my God. What I'm is poor kidding. people shit? Reusing, reusing the same? Chris, yeah, <laughs> reusing the thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars of decorations is poor people shit. It is it's not. I, I've, I've, I've used this stuff. I've used, I had that stuff last year. I had this tree. I'm not getting rid of this tree. Most of the decorations from last year. But next year I'm doing a very special thing. For black women, so I'm not gonna say what it is yet because I don't want anybody to copy it. But I'm doing uh, the colors are purple, silver, black, and white. Okay. So can we come over here on the 26th and start taking stuff to our house? Dion, do you need any decorations? Uh, I don't have a tree. So uh, uh, treat you like you treat Hobby Lobby? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot take my stuff with you because I'll be using the year after. Because I just switched the colors out. Like, I might not do, if I do burgundy and gold, I might not do... I might not do the gold. I might do silver or some stuff. So I just keep all of my stuff that my husband don't throw away. I see tags still left on some of this stuff. You're taking it back, aren't you? <laughs> you leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I I knew you, it. <laughs> you cannot return Christmas though. First of all, and uh, she's trying. You uh, <laughs> you buy it and you set it there. And you look at it for a couple of days and make sure you want it. Then when you want it, you take the tag off. Of okay. It. Yeah. So I want it. I'm gonna take the tag off of it. Okay. I've been going. I just got back from um, where I came from, Dion. Denver. Denver. Denver latitude or attitude or whatever it is up there so high. Altitude. Altitude. Yeah. The mile high city. <laughs> they latitude attitude if you high as fuck. <laughs> when they were smoking them tweeds and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> that shit like Man, I get on that stage every time I go to Denver. It feel like I got a I got calm or something in my throat, and I ain't never had Wait, calm what? in my throat. Calm, I think is what she's saying. Like, calm, like it just, semen, like, <laughs> yes. no, like just something sitting in my throat. <laughs> I can't breathe. I, I get on the stage and I'm trying to tell my jokes, and you know I talk fast because I'm from the south. I'm giving out of breath. I got out of bed one day with her just beat us, Lord. I'm having a heart attack, and then my mom said, "No, bitch, you in Denver." I said, "God damn it, in Denver you got." to walk slower. I don't know how fat people survive in Denver. It ain't enough <laughs> air circulating for fat people to get through their pores and shit. And I got like extra ash no matter how much cocoa butter. I had to mix cocoa butter, Vaseline, and baby oil to get the ash off me. That's a cocktail to blow a nigga up. <laughs> All that shit together. You know how oily that is, Chris? Your ass will slip through a fucking uh, ant hole if I put all that shit on you. I mean, literally, I bought cocoa butter, baby oil, and and uh, what's the other Vaseline. one? And Vaseline and rub that shit on me. Because when I was just using baby oil, the ass would just come right back. And I'm like, am I turning white? The fuck? <laughs> She's got vitiligo. <laughs> yeah, it was like vitiligo. And that shit, I, I, I love my fans in Denver. It was a fucking great show, but I literally need an oxygen match when I go to fucking Denver. And then, I'm all, and then when I when I got back down to the real world and landed in Minnesota, everything just started running out my nose like a motherfucking, <laughs> like I was on my period out my nose. I couldn't stop. Look how stopped up I am. It fucked my allergies up, my heart beat up, my cholesterol up. That place up too high. <laughs> Somebody needs to take it down. A yeah, bit. if yeah. you want to meet Jesus, take your ass to Denver. I think you're right at the tip of heaven. <laughs> anyway, I can't, I can't fuck with Denver. I don't know how any fat people can fuck in Denver. <laughs> with that thin air. <laughs> You know, you know, Chris, you plus side. When you fuck, you need. Yeah, you got to. You, you yeah. need to breathe. You need like one of those old man wires that go across your nose, the oxygen tank. Yeah. All you need some uh, Vicks baby rub to open you up. Yeah. I can't, I can't do Denver. Denver fucks me up. So you didn't time. get high at all? Uh, no, nigga, you can't get high and be in that thin ass air. <laughs> nigga, they around there passing air out like they passing a joint. <laughs> really? There ain't enough air up there for everybody. <laughs> 
They should put fat motherfuckers out of Denver. <laughs> it was they're take, rough. They're taking all the air. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was so rough for me. My chest is congested. I felt bad. I mean, I could not breathe. And then we got on the stage just a little bit up higher, and it still fucked me up. <laughs> just standing on the stage, I think I went up even a more sky, a more altitude, a latitude, or whatever. Fuck, I can't fuck with Denver. Y'all stay the fuck out of Denver. And is everybody there like a hippie, like super crunchy and doing yoga? The fuck is super crunchy. You're just like yoga everywhere. And uh, I ain't, eat whole it's food. It's time. You ain't gonna see no bitches in no yoga. You try to freeze a vagina? <laughs> no, I ain't said. I didn't really see. I stayed in my hotel room. I just couldn't breathe. I literally could not breathe. I went out and got a few things. Well, this is what I did. I went to Home Good. I mean, at home and fucking blew the budget. Just buy all Christmas shit for next year. So this guy was like, well, I work at the post office. I mail you your stuff. He get to the post office. He's about, well, they said we can't have no more gifts mailed for free. So it's 300 I said, nigga, take my shit back to the comedy club. I mail my shit piece at a time before I give you $300. Who, who, who was assisting you in carrying all this stuff? Another comedian. I said, <laughs> I said Dion. You no, know, it wasn't Dion. He wasn't there. I said, no, I'm, I'm just saying, like. It would have been me had i been there just some <laughs> some rando open mic comedian like yeah and this time i had to help this lady she went to home good i had to follow her had to care at home it was at home so i told myself i'm just gonna go up and get this little feather thing i'm looking for next thing though it's 300 dollars for christmas shit i can't help herself oh so this God. was at home goods in denver or here no, it was at, at home is the name of the place at home in it was denver. In denver okay and my shit All is right. still in denver <laughs> Cause he was supposed to hook me up on the shipping. I knew I should have listened to that little fat turtle looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a fat turtle that can't breathe. Does he still have your shit while you talking shit? Yeah, yeah he still got my You've shit. You've gotten in enough Girl, trouble, I, man. I I will fly to Denver and beat that turtle face off that motherfucker. It was so weird. One breath at a time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see you fighting Denver. <laughs> you mother fucker. She won't even. She won't even say it. She'll just write that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> I probably spell it right that time, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it was weird because my, you know how I always look, I always pay attention when I'm doing comedy. So every night when I went on stage, I was like, "Y'all give it up to Ted Bunny and Seal." Because the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> <and seal. laughs> the opening act looked just like Ted Bundy. <laughs> the MC guy, I was like, "God damn, you look like Ted Bundy." <laughs> He was just a little shorter, but he was cute and every. He looked like a young Ted Bundy. <laughs> and then the other guy was an African, so he was tall and... and Seal-like. Seal-like. <laughs> yeah, all he was missing was the motherfucking the African, the African face move. Yeah, move. Like he what? got burned by lava. <laughs> yeah, no, I think Seal, they scra- They put that in his face. That's their birthmark. Which one of them was your uh, at-home Sherpa? Seal or Ted Bundy? Seal was. Okay. Yeah, Ted Bundy was too short. <laughs> Couldn't carry as many packages. <laughs> so is your stuff just sitting at a home good store right It's now? sitting at the fat dude po- who worked at the post office, but I don't think the nigga really worked at the post office. I think he was a janitor trying to play like he worked at the post office. Because he said he was a mail carrier. I said, ain't no way in the fuck you know mail, mail carrier in that thin ass air. You too fat to be out there in that mail truck like that all day. So your stuff is sitting at somebody's house. Yeah. With you were never seeing any of that. Oh, you got me fucked up. No, you will never. You, you that guy had the f- most beautiful house on the block now. No, nah, <laughs> I will fly to Denver and beat them titties off that fat fuck. <laughs> I will beat his fat ass, and I hope you well, listen to me. Let's not air this episode till she get her shit back. Jeez. No, you can air this <laughs> you- Christmas episode. You can air next She week. is riled up today. You were yelling at somebody on the phone, and some lady yelled at you on the plane back. No, I was sitting, I was yelling about our situation that happened with the podcast early, but we ain't going to put it out there. So make a long story short, I'm threatening to whoop somebody's ass. <laughs> and out of nowhere, y'all, this white lady, white people, y'all have lost your fucking mind. Stop trying to be the police. You ain't no motherfucking police. I'm sitting there threatening this person on the phone. <laughs> this white lady literally get up. <laughs> <laughs> What what did she Tickling say? Killing Chris. <laughs> Killing me. She said you are what did what did she say? She said go fly there. She said um you are something about bad energy. You yeah, are. she said she said, Oh, I'm sitting there on the phone, y'all, cursing somebody out. And I ain't being too loud, but loud. So she said, uh, you put negative energy in the air. And I look <laughs> And all I said was, white bitch, today ain't your motherfucking day. I said, did you just hear me tell this other nigga I was crazy? 
<laughs> she, I said, fuck your energy, okay? <laughs> this motherfucker trying to take something from me. She grabbed her pocketbook and ran to the other side of the fucking seat in there. Really? <laughs> Like, is you, well, don't come fucking with me. I ain't talking to you. I was going to apologize for cussing in front of everybody after I got through with my situation. <laughs> so, so after I got everything worked out and I was going to get what I what was do mine, uh, I turned around to the lady next to me. I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, you know, for cussing. I'm a little upset. And so this older lady said, you ain't do nothing wrong, baby. I'm just glad I ain't such and such person. She named that person. <laughs> and uh, I said, yeah, because he white and I'm about to ble- beat him a whole nother fucking race. <laughs> and, and that was it. So I got on a plane, me and the bitches on the same flight. And she just walked by me and looked at me like I was crazy. And I looked at her like she was fucking crazy. Bitch, don't fuck your energy. I don't give a fuck about your energy. Y'all better stop walking up here fucking with people. Y'all, th- I don't know who done gave y'all police officer badge, and you motherfucker ain't never jumped no wall to be no police officer. If y'all down there scratching up my flow, I'm going to hurt y'all. We are at Miss Pat's house. So. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I don't like that shit. I don't like why people just come up and put their nose in other people's business. Mind your motherfucking business. Yeah. I was not cussing out you. Fuck your energy. All you had to do was pick up your energy and walk your ass to the other side of the airport. I don't know. what. Why Why would you even get yourself involved? You're sitting Thank there you. and you just go, why? This person clearly, this yeah, person is clearly angry. somebody out over the phone, why would you interject yourself into that situation? This person may be crazy. You I, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's the worst case scenario that they stop cussing all of a sudden? Right. No, they're immediately going to turn to you and be like, bitch, you want some of this too? <laughs> I was like, white bitch, today is not your day. I said, didn't you just hear me tell the last motherfucker I was crazy? <laughs> Fuck your energy. Fuck your energy, bitch. <laughs> Boy, she got up and got the fuck away from me. And I bet she was on that text and this motherfucking nigga. I was trying to read her text, but, you know, I can't see that far. <laughs> yeah, because the air is so thin in Denver. <laughs> right, her eyes didn't work the right way. Yeah. This shit work. I'm telling you, like, my piss even came out slow in Denver. <laughs> Really? Yeah, my piss was like, it was like it was just floating in the air. That's I don't know what the fuck Denver do to my body. Then my knees started to give out. It could have been I'm overweight, but I'm going to put it on Denver. <laughs> <laughs> All this shit could consult for me being overweight, but I'm going to blame Denver for this shit. <laughs> a, a moment of self-awareness. It was The clarity from the thin air hit so hard once you get back down to earth. Being at heaven's doorstep will make you think about some shit. <laughs> we going to fault Denver for this shit. Denver did this shit to me. Because I was like, I'm, 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 I'm that fat. My knees hurt. My elbow hurt. Just everything hurt. I get up and I'm, I'm finding myself. I got to go to the gym. I got to lose weight because I get up and I'm bent over like an old ass woman mm. now. And that shit. And, I'm, and I notice my booty sticking out and my titties sticking out the other way. And I ain't standing straight up. I'm almost like Uncle Cecil. <laughs> you know, Uncle Cecil was crippled. So right. he had that bridge for them legs. So I, I just I just feel myself. <laughs> I feel myself balling up. And I, I mean, I'm almost 50, so I'm like, oh, God, I ain't never felt like this before. And when you go to the gym and you work out, like it makes your posture better. You stand up straighter, like you feel better. Like I hadn't yeah. gone in a week and I just went on Sunday and I was like standing up tall. Like before that, I was, I was just like hunched over, feeling like yeah, crap. Yeah, I got, I literally, I want my son to scratch me. But every time Jumba scratch me, I pass gas like no other. <laughs> So he won't really fucking scratch me. And, and then last time he was helping me lose <laughs> stretch, weight. Stretch. Scratch. Stretch. Scratch. No, There's it's a, a T, T, not a K. <laughs> stretch. There you go. Scratch. What was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> you were saying what you just said because you just said it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. She said it right one time and then immediately went back to how she was saying it. <laughs> and then said, how am I, I saying it? I imagine Junebug doesn't want to scratch you if you're farting in his face. Yeah. So he was scratching me. And then when he was helping me lose, he said he was going to help me lose weight. Then he, you remember the time he texted me and said my period was going to change and he made my period come back. So I just stopped losing weight because I'm like, I don't want no fucking period. So you made my goddamn period come back on. So I just, I just, I got to go. I'm going to work. I'm and that's get on not, birth control, even though you don't have a what you call it. What the fuck you mean I don't got no what you call it? Yeah, you got your things tied, right? Oh, they tied, fried, yeah. died, laid That's to the side, and stabbed. <laughs> so, 
I got Republican knots in this pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so why you go get uh what, what do they call them things? Uh, uh IUD. Yeah, the I don't I, need all of that. What I'm gonna get all that for? Because it'll stop your period from coming. No, I ain't, it ain't that serious for me, Deanna. I ain't gonna have my two tied, and I had the the uh, the blazer where they burnt my put vagina up. And you want me get, you want me do triple birth control? What kind of dick you think going off at me? I'm just saying, if you don't want your period, I don't give a fuck about who no, you're putting in it. No, is Junebug around here? Can we ask him? I'd love to hear what you're like in the gym. Juba, Juba. <laughs> Juba! <laughs> if I was him, I wouldn't answer He's either. Ignoring it. He's like, I heard scratch. I'm not coming out there. <laughs> he just had flashbacks. If your mother came to you, Dion, and asked you to scratch her, what? Would... <laughs> As an adult, I'd tell her, hell no. <laughs> I would never stretch my mom. He must love you. Why wouldn't you scratch your mama? I don't want to get that close physically to my mom. That's odd to me. What do you mean? Just like what? Like what? You what scared is you gonna smell her vagina? You came out of it. Yeah, it smell like any yeah, other. But place. you don't remember that. Yeah, thank God. Right, Juba, remember how I smell? Because some yeah, days on y'all are so close in age. <laughs> <laughs> Not Juba. <laughs> That's actually. <laughs> Child, they they'll scratch me if I ask them. Juba, Juba. <laughs> My kids don't give a fuck about me, so let me tell you about my husband, right? <laughs> so I told uh, my husband, I said, you know, come and go to Hawaii with me. I got a gig in Hawaii. And he's like, I said, well, and they paying for me, so just come on and go. He was like, do you really want me to go to Hawaii? Because he boring as fuck. And I, I was like, yeah, I want you to go to Hawaii. He said, shouldn't you, be rare, shouldn't you be thinking about saving money for these kids? I'm like, nigga, fuck these kids. <laughs> if they want some money, they better get them a motherfucking job. Right. <laughs> I ain't, I'm doing Liberace on these niggas. I'm giving all the money to the cat. <laughs> she don't even have a cat yet. No, but when I feel like I'm dying, I'm going to get me a motherfucking cat. <laughs> yeah, I was like, who the fuck? Well, I'm not, I said, Garrett, I'm not saying, fuck these kids. They better get their own motherfucking money. I don't got no life choice. Tr- what your money is, whatever's left over after you bury me. <laughs> so you better spend that life insurance policy wisely. Because <laughs> if you go over, you fucked. <laughs> you better put me on an old outfit and put me in the oven and burn me the fuck up. I'm out of here. What about me and Dion? Leave us something. What the fuck you want? My wigs? Sure. I'll, I would love, I'd be honored to have your wigs. Well, just when I die, come <laughs> over here and get them. I, I, Ashley <laughs> might kill I'd you. I'd do like a Tony him. Clifton thing. I'd come so this weekend, Miss Pat, I walk out. What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> Why does Miss yeah. Pat stop saying the N word, though? <laughs> <laughs> no, my husband's always worried about the motherfucking kid. God, fucking dads, man. Right? Excuse me, oh, y'all. Fuck. The, the, all... <laughs> she that? seems like an old motherfucker. It's <laughs> like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> you that's Denver. like it's the 1940s. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's Denver. Denver done clogged up my damn chest. My I husband... need you to get a modern sneeze. That <laughs> shit sound... <laughs> that shit sound like the forties, like a like a vaudeville sound. <laughs> How are you effect? supposed to sneak? I don't know, but not like that. Uh, I chew, <laughs> I chew. Who the fuck said I chew? <laughs> Yo, I chew is for bitches who can't fight. <laughs> I can fuck fight. You you shouldn't fight though. You have a Hulu show. You can't fight anymore. Yeah, you need to give that up. You need to Fighting stop threatening people. You. Yeah. You can fight as long as nobody records you. <laughs> Everybody's yeah, got... yeah. When's the last time that happened? Right. We're watching people behind on a trash Popeye. can. <laughs> Hiding a trash can. Behind a trash can. I'm not fighting nobody, but I'm saying I will if it come down to it. But I don't fight anymore. I'm old. It takes a lot to make me fight, don't it? Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred dollars says different. I, I'm just saying, you've threatened to beat more people up today than I have in my entire life. <laughs> well, Chris, we different. We different. I think that number is three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, I cannot stand people to try to take advantage of me. Don't try to take advantage of me. I think I'm a really fucking nice person. Right. All you got to do is ask me or say what the fuck you. I, 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 I'm a straightforward person. Say what the fuck you got to say. That's what I like about Instagram. Cause when I post something too black, all the white 
hate me and be so <laughs> mad at me. And they come at my ass. And, you know, my fan base is so mixed now. So then I start an argument. And I'm not trying to start an argument with the black and the white people. What I'm trying to do is start a conversation. I'm trying to start a conversation. But they immediately go at each other and they fucking start fighting. Right. So what were we talking about? Because like- the group that's exactly what happens inside the, the pat down yeah which is start it's, a conversation and then people start fighting well I, I don't want you to fight i really want you to just have a conversation i was saying something to get to that point but i forgot the fuck i was saying why don't we take a break and you think about it okay we're gonna take a break and we'll be right back <laughs> all right y'all we back from the break yeah i can't i cannot stand for nobody to try to take advantage of me so <clears throat> i mean if you want something just be just be up front as i was saying is that's what i like about the uh the group when I post something too black and it piss off white men. It's always white men. They go to fuck off on me. But I appreciate that. I really do. Mm-hmm. I, I because I know I just made you uncomfortable. I just I just brought up a conversation that you don't want to talk about. So just be honest. Be blunt like the motherfucker on Instagram. I'm leaving you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't the first and you ain't the last. Like I post this meme. Oh, they, they, we got the argument over a meme, y'all. Listen to this shit. <laughs> Literally over a damn meme on my Facebook page. No, it wasn't Facebook, was it? Was Instagram? Instagram, maybe. It was Instagram. It's hard for me to find anything. Oh my god, I'm so sick, y'all. But this is how much I love y'all. I'm sitting on my sofa with no bra, and I'm doing a fucking podcast, infecting Dion and I. Well, Dion, I've already been sick, so I'm good. Yeah, Dion, where is my Instagram? Somebody erased my Instagram logo. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I'm dumb. <laughs> it was inside of other apps. <laughs> um, Here we go. There they go talking about it again. This meme literally said, to be African-American is to be African without the memories and American without the privilege. Let that sink in. Chris, as a white America, what do you think that means? I don't think it makes any sense at all. I think that if I, I don't get what you mean by having no memories because you are 47 years old. You have like, what memories are you talking about? I have no memories of Germany, for instance. My family immigrated here in the late 1800s. Your family immigrated. My family was brought here. And, so. s- and secondly, while white privilege is more significant than any other privilege in this country, it doesn't mean that you are without privilege at all. We still are, if you live in America, are in the top 50, 40% of all income in the entire world. So I think it, I saw it, I didn't, I didn't get what it meant, and I don't really understand it. So maybe you can explain it, because it's sort of vague. It's It's like a clever play on words, but... It's like one of those things that sounds deep, but doesn't seem all that deep. It doesn't seem that to you because you're not black. First of all, that's why you didn't get it. Honestly, mm-hmm. that's because you don't know shit about being African American, African in America. So you don't. It doesn't affect you. It just doesn't affect you. So that's why. That's why what most white people on my Instagram did not get it. Uh, <clears throat> let me read the meme again. To be African American is to be African without the memories. Without the memories, stop there. What they're saying is, we as black people, African Americans, we really don't know where we're from. Sure. That That's what that, that one statement says all of that. So we, I would never know you from Germany. You know where you originated from. I don't know if I'm from Congo, Kenya, yeah. or nothing. That's right. what they mean. Slavery snatched my all my whole all my whole ancestors and everybody. Germany's a country, Africa's mm-hmm. a continent. So you can so when you say German, that's a specific culture. But when you say Africa, you don't know if you're North African, South African, mm-hmm. West African, East African. You're just African. So Africa, right. the, the memories of what culture you come from were completely we would never know erased. So you, right. Because we're, our you don't ancestors know. were slaves. So we would never know that. We, I would never know that part of my family. I don't even know. I don't. I don't even think the genealogy test we were talking about one, on one of these podcasts could even track us all the way back. Probably could, but who knows? Well, they got rid of so many records. You, you, you hope what they trace back to you is accurate, but you don't know because yeah. they got rid of all the fucking paperwork. What's the next line? Uh, and an American without the privileges. 
So to be yeah. African American is to be African without memories and American without the privileges. And that that means spoke to me because I'm Black America, and the first part is what really spoke to me. I was like, damn, that is so true. I would never know what it's like to be from where I'm really from, and literally. The white men on my Instagram page lost their fucking mind. But I appreciate you guys. I really do. I love when you speak your mind. You, As long as it's in a respectable way. And then the conversation starts with the black people. And, you know, if you don't get something, just say you don't fucking get it. Don't come and say it's stupid. Because when, when something means something to me, it might not mean the same thing to you. Yeah. I'm not going to say German. I don't know nothing about your ancestors or your people. I'm not going to say it's stupid. I'm going to say I don't get it. I don't understand it. You know, but I'm not I'm not going to dog you out. They was literally, you're always race baiting. I'm like, first of all, this meme is for the black people on the page. Right. It's nothing to offend <coughs> you. I'm speaking to the black people. And he's like, well, what about poverty? Poverty in Africa ain't the same poverty over here. I said, what make you think all of Africa is motherfucking poor? We got some poor shit over here too, you know, guys. So... I mean, just be blunt like the white men's on my Instagram page. Can I be blunt? Yeah. Please don't blow your nose on the microphone. Move the mic away from you. <laughs> I'm sorry to everybody listening. I'm not. I'm not blowing my nose. It's just itch really bad. I know, but when you when you're scratching it, you're rubbing the paper on the microphone. It sounds hilarious. <laughs> Oh, like that. Yeah. So just be honest. I mean, if you got something to say, I don't mind you expressing yourself. Please express yourself. My whole thing is I want to do is get us talking about uncomfortable shit. I want to get you talking about shit to turn you blue in the motherfucking face. I want to get black people talking about shit that pisses them the fuck off. That's what I want to talk about. I, feel, that, I think people have a knee jerk reaction on the end. Mm-hmm. Like they, they see something and they immediately react to it yeah. and they don't ever give any thought to it. It's like it. It's it, it's you, almost impossible to change someone's mind over the internet. Yeah, like somebody can sit there and think almost. for several years, have do a long. Let's say you did a long thesis on something. You did all this research, thought about it, worked on like this this article, and you post this article on Facebook, and it's just twenty five people going, "Nuh-uh," and giving no thought, no counter research. Like it's the internet is just a place where people knee jerk through their own bias without ever stopping. And thinking things through, it's like, so when I see people comment on stuff like that, I'm like, you know, I saw it. I, my initial reaction, I don't get it. I'll and that's pro- fine. I'll talk to her later about it if, if, if it ever comes but up. But you didn't like, come to my page and say I was stupid or I'm race baiting. Right. I'm not, y'all. I love you guys. I love white. I love black. I love Indian. I love Mexican. But you got to remember, I'm black. So I'm down for the crown with the black shit. I'm black, nigga. I like my fried chicken with seasoned salt. I like my cornbread with two eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is making one egg cornbread? <laughs> Chris, mama. <laughs> if I knew what, what you were talking about, I'd be insulted. <laughs> See, he don't know, so he don't want to come in. <laughs> nigga, don't you ever eat no one egg cornbread. <laughs> You'd be more stopped up than Miss Pat right now. <laughs> that dry ass shit. <laughs> it won't rise when you don't put enough <laughs> eggs in it, Chris. Ah. Yeah, so I like my cornbread with two eggs. I like grease. I like ocean perch fish. I don't like tilapia. Tilapia came out somebody's ass. Ocean I, perch? I like ocean perch. We used to have that shit every Friday when I was a kid. <laughs> Nigga, and this little Maya selling on the street. I be on that box. Give me all up before the white people get. <laughs> I go buy my every Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, I love Ocean Park. Park. You ate Ocean Park? Corn, I don't. Th- no, I don't think so. You never, had- y'all. We're a mahi mahi family, <laughs> or Sam. Uh, excuse Ooh. the fuck Nigga out of me, baby dolphin over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, mahi mahi that dry ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> Chris, I gotta get some soul in you, boy. Folks, you got. Don't eat no motherfucking mahi mahi. That shit is dry, flaky like old pussy. It really is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. I ain't never had mahi. Hold on, a chew. <laughs> <laughs> you shamed her into sneezing. <laughs> that white guilt got her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. She actually said a chew. <laughs> <laughs> <didn't> come out. <laughs> 
fuck y'all. It didn't come out. <laughs> you gotta see the video. It's so <laughs> it, it went back up. God damn it. At <laughs> you. It was coming out, then it went back up. <laughs> I hate that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it was coming out you, right there the when tip, your nose is edging. And it changed his mind. Uh, so <laughs> I don't even know where the fuck the her chew came from. <laughs> I'm sick today. But oh, as I was saying, oh, uh, don't eat no mahi mahi. That shit dry. It really is very dry. So, I, I bought some recently and I made it. I was like, oh, this is so dr- gross. It is yeah. gross. So next time you hear, no, I'll be back on the 8th. <laughs> so the next time you hear, we're going to, with the podcast, we're going to fry some ocean perch. Okay. Wait, you, you come back on the 8th and then we leave again on the 9th. Oh, I'm full. I don't even come back. I, I leave. I come back when y'all when we come back from the, uh, the San Francisco thing. I go straight there. Are we here next week? Are you here next week? Oh, okay. I'm on the road till we come to San Francisco. Okay, but we all should be arriving at the same time. We better so, do two episodes today then. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we we're gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure we fry ocean perch. Okay. So you could you gotta try other shit, Chris. You gotta stop eating this food that ain't no good. I've for had you. cod. I've had don't halibut. eat no goddamn cod. Do you know cod eat everything at the bottom of the ocean that's really? dead? That's what my mama said. She's cod. Don't eat no cod. <laughs> You listen to you. It's a, yeah. cause well, it's more expensive than cod. the perch or what? We didn't we didn't eat no cod, but we ate chitlin. You, right. like, yeah, if you right. eat catfish, they do the exact same thing. You're taking culinary advice from a woman who picked her teeth with chicken feet. <laughs> <laughs> Pick her tooth. <laughs> <laughs> she had no fucking teeth. She had a tooth. Use me. Yeah. She had two tooth. That's what she had. <laughs> <laughs> she had two tooth. And do two tooth make a teeth? <laughs> yeah, yes. that's teeth. Yeah, yeah if you so, got more than one, right. you have teeth. Plural. What, yeah. th- what if they one arm was like broke off? So that's two tooth. <laughs> a tooth and a half? No, that's two tooth. Tooths. Two two tooths. <laughs> you can put an S on tooths. Yeah, I, no, I don't. Wouldn't advise. Only, if, only if you have exactly two. <laughs> yeah. No, but but ain't tooth plural? No, tooth is singular. Singular. Yeah, I forgot. That damn tooth. It's been a while, y'all. But if she uh, only had two tooths, is okay. Right. Yeah. She had two tooth. And they look like black eyed peas. Because remember, I told you they had the cavity on the side? <laughs> yeah, they look like two black eyed peas sitting up there in her mouth. Bless her heart. And when she died, I asked the man to put paper in her mouth so her teeth, her mouth wouldn't fall in in the middle. <laughs> 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 Fuck y'all laughing at. <laughs> You don't want your mama dead in no casket. Her motherfucking mouth don't suck in like a volcano. I feel sorry for the man who stuffed your mama's mouth full of paper before y'all buried her. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sir. I apologize on behalf. <laughs> she, I remember when she died, they was drawing her blood. And she had been in the hospital a lot. And so when they went to embalm her, all the little needle pricks, the embalming fluid were coming out. And this man was so, because I had to pay for her funeral. This man was so motherfucking bootleg. He just wrapped a fucking Kroger sack around her arm she was leaking it. I'm not even gonna laugh at that. That's honestly sad. That's, that just made me. That just made me so sad. He was gonna use that Kroger sack for something else. Yeah. He was like his Fuck. laundry. <laughs> he, he you sacrificed his laundry bag. He couldn't do. He couldn't do no little bondo or some shit makeup. He put a, he, she actually had he like had a no some, flex it, saran man. wrap around her arm. <laughs> her body was in a what do you say? <laughs> I said they didn't have flex seal back then. <laughs> they did have flex seal. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the fuck out of here, y'all. Oh <laughs> we having too much fun right before Christmas. Uh, what you guys getting for Christmas? Well, I'll ask you that on the next episode. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a great episode, even though I've been here her chewing. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm sick as fuck, but I'm here for you. Thank you so much for tuning in and listen to another great episode of The Pat Down. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.